And I, I had the most incredible encounter. Um, this was back uh, the, the fall that we opened uh, the museum in 2017. And of course, it was the time of the white supremacist march in Charlottesville. And so um, if you've been to the museum or if you visit, you'll see we do a lot with the tearing down of the statue of King George that took place when the Declaration of Independence was read in New York in 1776. Never imagining there would be sort of a contemporary moment <laughs> where that was a very poignant image because of the controversies over these uh, Confederate monuments and particularly that march in Charlottesville. And so um, I had this amazing encounter with a young girl, probably fifth, sixth, seventh grade, um, who had been through most of the museum at that point. And I asked her, you know, as I often do when I'm sort of prowling around the galleries, what resonated with you? What did you like? And usually kids will focus on an experience. In, you know, they liked a movie or they liked a, uh, you know, we have a battlefield theater. Or you can stand under the Liberty Tree or get on the deck of a ship. And um, that, those are the, you know, common things that kids will comment on. But this young girl focused on a story that she had encountered, which was about the debates about whether or not to write a Declaration of Independence in 1776. And she really downloaded how dangerous this moment was and how there were principal differences of opinion, even among revolutionaries, about whether to do this or not. So she's rehearsing this back and forth to me. And then she starts to describe the aftermath, which was the tearing down of that statue, which you literally see recreated in the museum. And um, of course, me as the educator, I thought, well, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, this is, I'll just throw her like a softball over the plate, right, easy one, and ask her if that made her think of anything in the news, like that, you know, so she could make a connection. And uh, she looked at me and she said, yeah. And I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. But she fooled me because she did not go where I thought she was going to go. She said, it made me think that a hundred years from now, someone is going to make a museum about my time. And you could have knocked me over with a feather at that moment because what, what better case for support <laughs> for a museum? You know, I, I don't care if a student goes through the museum and does better on their AP history exam, you know, or understands this date and that are, to, to, have, to have felt herself part of a stream of history that reached back, you know, 240 some years. And more importantly, think about her moment in time and how her actions would be worthy, hopefully, of someone talking about this in a museum. That is the sort of, to me, it's the, it's the vaccine for civic ill you know, that we've created here uh, in a place like the Museum of the American Revolution.